Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanji subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. Starting off with uh, the official announcement of Holo, My Holo TV, which is different than Holo Live. It, they just have My Holo TV as the thing. It is not Holo Live related, as far as I know. It's not Holo Live related. So this was their official uh, Twitter message. Press release, official announcement, and active operation notice for My Holo TV. And of course, we're going to take a look at it. Dear My Holo TV fans, thank you for all your support. My Holo TV will cease its operations until further notice after May 31st of 2024. So by the end of this month, pretty much. And here's the official announcement. It says, inactive operation notice for my Hollow TV. Hello everyone. I don't know why it just re redid this. It is a heavy heart that I announced that as of May 31st, 2024, my Hollow TV entertainment will officially be inactive until further notice. My Hollow TV was established in May 2020 with the vision of connecting the worldwide community with Japan's anime and VTuber culture through new entertainment mediums and managing talents who seek to be VTubers while supporting the streaming activities. While we have faced many challenges and learning curves over the course of four years in the VTuber industry, we also have had the privilege of working with many Im immensely skilled talents. We will always be extremely appreciative and grateful for their contributions. So this is basically thanking everyone else, which is good. It's a, it's a positive thing. As their hard work and continued efforts have allowed Mahalo TV to produce quality entertainment throughout the years. Nonetheless, after careful consideration and evaluation, we have reached a difficult decision to halt the company's operations for one year while we restructure our organization as we no longer have sufficient resources to continue efficiently. So it seems like they're they're no longer getting funding. They're running out of money, pretty much. This is running out of money, so they're going broke. And instead of fully closing down, instead of fully, you know, shutting the doors and firing everybody, they decided, you know what, we are going to shutter the doors but we're trying to come back basically they're probably going to go through a round of investment funding trying to get capital funding in there trying to get investment in there and then hopefully bring it back up but this tends not to go well unless they already have investors lined up so this could very well be the end of my holo tv but we won't know until the final nail is put in nonetheless um says, however, we remain open to the possibilities of future investments uh, with better strategies without compromising our principles of sustainability. Every company has to have sustainability. Every single company does. Regarding the talents, we would like to state some updates here. Liliana Vampaya and Lunaris Urufi will be under new revised contract regarding the usage of company's intellectual property and limited services. So my guess is that this new contract means that they can continue their stuff and uh, pretty much they're going to be in going to be semi-indie i guess in the sense that they can do their things on their own but my guess is hollow is still going to be receiving some stipends from it some money from it some money from it and you know they're going to be doing their stuff L leola lightbringers selected intellectual property the record character outfit and all her social media channel ownership will be acquired by the talent so it looks like Liola or leola is going to go fully independent it looks like because she's buying her stuff from them from what it looks like it says acquired by the talent which means that she's buying her outfit back from them she's probably buying certain intellectual properties so she can use it and not have to pay them for it afterwards carrot karomi will be returning to the talent's original identity as carrot upon mutual agreement for early release of partnership contract while the intellectual property will remain with the company so carrot's going to be going back to her original and she's going to be indie again so carrot karomi as she is in my hollow tv right now will no longer be it will be Carrot, the original, the old one, before she was part of My Hollow TV. She's going to be indie. Leola and Carrot will be graduating from the agency and resume their independent activities on 1st of June. So they're both actually going to go full independent. So that's unfortunate uh, for uh, My Hollow TV because they were two good talents for them. But it's good that they are at least keeping their stuff and they're able to go independent. Events planned and merchandise orders placed for May 2024 will continue scheduled. And my Hollow TV fans should tune in each time social media for more information regarding their respective plans for activities after May 31st. My Hollow TV's official channels, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, everything X uh, will not be deactivated. They will remain active to serve as an archive. Any fan mails received by May 31st will still be delivered to the talents as usual. However, we ask the fans remain from re refrain from making inquiries to talents directly. 
and to direct any business related questions to this customer service area. From here, we would like to sincerely thank all of our fans who have supported us through the years of our operations. Now let's take a look at what fans are responding as. Thank you for being a home to some of my most favorite VTubers and friends. We'll be waiting for your return. My God, my heart sunk in so bad from reading this. Anyway, thank you for the hard work to Papa Hollow, my Hollow TV staff, and all talents. It was fun being together with you all. Uh, we will see you again in the future. Camping. Uh, says GG. Oh my God. Uh, Shari, Shari Porn VTuber. Uh, we will wait for your talent return. Wishing you the best for the talents. It saddens me. People are responding in, you know, with sadness. Um, with everything. Uh, let's see. Viewing post engagements. People are saying, you know, 75 to 80% person agency. Uh, basically, uh, people are saying to, to not cause any panic and stuff. I'm not graduating. Lyola herself, her, the, uh, the person involved, not graduating. I'm only leaving the company. I will be continuing my activities as an indie VTuber. Graduation to indie. Basically, uh, uh, my hollow graduation to indie, as I said before. A small little addendum to the my hollow thing i believe miori and bay hakos bales what from hollow live was a part of uh my hollow as i have been informed of that just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an addendum letting you guys know that yes bay was a part of this react is a vtuber agency that is japanese in nature and they are someone who doesn't deserve the situation that they're currently in as you can read there, they got a certain uh, letter sent to them in regards to H Hanagami Kyo's fourth one-man live response to the suspicious letter. We recently received a that and a that against Hana Hanagayagi's Kyo's fourth solo live concert to our email address. We are currently working with the police to strengthen our security measures such as patrolling the venue and being on alert for suspicious persons and receiving uh, and fighting a damage report. Because in Japan, they can actually get sued for doing this and anywhere you can get sued and anywhere you can get in jail for this. But even worse for just a threat. Like I'm, this person's going to go to jail. This person's definitely going to go to jail for doing this. If you see anything suspicious, please do not touch it. Evacuate the area and contact our staff. If you see a suspicious person, please ensure your own safety and notify the staff. Also, on the day of the concert, baggage will be inspected. We ask for your co cooperation in this matter. Of course, they have to because of the specific thing they received, the information they received. If you have already purchased a ticket and decide not to attend the event, we will send a refund reimbursement information email to those who have already purchased tickets. We will consider and respond to these to these things, all these both these things, and other suspicious letters after reviewing their contents. We will continue to place the highest priority on safety for our customers and staff, and will take all possible measures to ensure safe completion of the event. We we appreciate your understanding and cooperation. So yeah, they're doing their best. May 1st, uh, Mikai Corporation, they're doing their absolute best in this whole thing. Uh, people are responding. It's freaking crazy that an agency will actually receive these types of threats for things that they do. Um, it's just for just doing a regular concert. This is insane. I hope they can find who did this and everyone will be safe. I feel sorry for the, the talents and everything. Yes, of course. Um, and yeah, it's basically a repeat of this. I hope that everyone remains safe and that the event will go through safely. Not cool. What the actual F. Literally unhinged with the F. Unacceptable. Common theme for those idiots who try to sabotage those events, like what happened to a V Singer and Tyra V Spo members. This might be a wake up call for other organizers in the near future, especially with this. Not that long ago, KSI's boxing promotion received the same type of things. Uh, was going, police evacuated the venue. Talking about it later, the main promoter chalked it up to the lack of experience of a relatively small town police force and set for concerts and similar shows with massive public affluence to receive one or more of those types of things as a normal. At the end, only credible threats are reacted to. Only credible ones are, of course, which is the way it should be. I hope they catch and make an example of whoever did it. I hope they do, because that's just wrong. Like they say here, just be safe. If you see anything suspicious, report it. If you see anyone suspicious, report it. It's better to be safe than sorry in these situations because you do not want anyone to get hurt. You do not want anything negative to happen. It's supposed to be a happy time. It's supposed to be a time when you're with your Oshi. You're enjoying your Oshi. You're enjoying all these things that they're doing. Not a time to uh, have, you know, the fear of all of those things over your shoulder. Quick covering of the Super Chat earnings we have here. We have Noctix with uh, 34.18. What are these compared to? Uh, what are these actually doing? Seeing Scarla almost rival Vox during birthday month. Actual surprising 2023 despite a lower viewership. Second most super chatted person in EGN. Uh, her gift fail lifestyle. Um, girl fail lifestyle. And she managed to dodge drama year as well. And like Vox, if you take out both his outfit reveal and his birthday replaced, like they've been below 5k for the month. So these are in thousands. 
These are in thousands of of uh, dollars, I believe, or yen, one of the two. Either way, 70.72. The second gen Toya is doing actually not too bad from what it looks like. Uh, from male and female, Noctix, these are the EN people and these are the JP people. Uh, so numbers wise, 34.18. In April, 25.68 thousand, I'm guessing dollars, not yen, because thousand yen would only be like 25,000 yen would only be like a thousand dollars or 5,000 bucks maybe. So for the month of April, I'm, I'm assuming they made more than $5,000. So I'm guessing this is actual dollars wise. Uh, I may be incorrect because they don't have an actual key in here. Oh, it says figures are in thousands of US dollars down here. Scraped from Hololizer. So they are thousands of dollars. All right, down there, the bottom. Reading is not my forte. Uh, Hex Haywire, Albin Knox, Ayamare, they all made a lot. I mean, 32K, this is of course gross because you get the 30% that YouTube takes. So YouTube would take close to $10,000, then half of that. So each of them made at least 10K during this time. Some of them made like 5K and less. Uh, you have Crisis from uh, uh, Yuki Wilson only made 3.41. So he made very little for the month. Um, TTT made 4.93. Obsidia made 10, 10K. Rosami made 10K, which is not bad. So she made somewhere around maybe 2K in the month, which is not bad for a month, but you know, I would hope for, especially for her being such a good person that she is, she would make a little bit more, but it is what it is. These are top 25 super chat earners for the whole company in thousands of dollars. Uh, Ken Mochitoya, the Japanese seem to be, the Japanese side seems to be the big earners as you're seeing here. You have X Gamers, Kuzuha is making 99K, Saigesa 40K. Um, the whole thing here is they really messed up in the way that they did the organization. They should have done it by, you know, the, um, the largest amount. They did it in April, based on April, but they should have done it on total. In April, they made 49K, Kemochi Toya, Kuzuha made 39K, uh, Skarda made 18K, Vox made 23K. So they did it by April instead of by total, but it's fine. And by April, they have made, I mean, they're making a good amount of money. So still nothing to shake a stick at. Skarda made a good amount of money. I'm really happy about that. Rosami also made a, a, a decent amount of money uh, and I'm happy for that because she deserves that. And of course I said, I hate to see Rosemary take such a big hit from everything that happened. Uh, just like that last time, keep in mind the following. Total refers to their super chat earnings for the year 2024 so far. April is just for the month of April. Figures are in thousands of USD. All data was scraped from Hololizer. There are only supas from the YouTube stream so anything on other platforms aren't captured. Figures are before any party, YouTuber, any color takes their cut. So like I said, there's a 30% cut from YouTube, and then there's the 50% cut from, from uh, any cutter that gets put into there. So yeah, they're still, in many cases, still making thousands of dollars. So that's still good for them. Real quick, V-Stats for April just dropped. Let's take a look. How Life grew by 12%. Nidu Sanji dropped by 14%, which is what we really care about. And still got 22 million views overall, it looks like. So that's still very good. How Life English grew by 79%. Nidu Sanji English dropped by 58%. 55%. 1.5 million views versus 5.2 million views. So how live English, even though how even though Nidhi Sanji English has been pushing a ton of talents, how live English is still on top with less talents because as I've said before, when you let your talents do what they want and when you support them properly, they are going to pay off in spades. Neo Porta is doing well. All the other organizations are doing well. Vispo, it looks like this is Vispo. Might be Vispo. Might be something different. Um, but yeah, that might be Vispo is in third place. It looks like again almost losing it to Dev Device. Yes, it's Jover. Negligible comment. Yep. Yep. Hollow Life Device is almost there. Yep. Um, to those who wonder, here's the ranking of total hours in terms of corporate, not brand. <clears throat> These are all total hours over corporate, not brand uh, ones. So total hours, they dropped 28%. Brave Group dropped 3%. 20% growth in um, in Hollow Life. So yeah, and they're not even not Hollow Life English and. Um, is not in here because these aren't groups. These aren't based on groups. These are the total corporate hours. So ho the one for Hololive includes Hololive English. The one for Nidhi Sanji includes Nidhi Sanji English. It includes all the branches. And here down below, we have the full ranking of the talents themselves. Bekora had 4 million hours. Uh, Miko had 2 million hours. Uh, Koyori actually had 1.4 million hours. And then you have Subaru, which is 1.4. Kuzuha with 1.3, which is nothing to shake a stick at. But they're barely on the top five. They're top 10. They have some top 10. But mo the majority of them, as you can see here, are Hololive, either English or Japan. So uh, Nidisandi suffering in all types of stats from what it looks like. Today I went over this when it came to false ID and the things that are going on there. 
uh, as you can see here, he did this out years ago, like last year for WeebCon. He was asked to remove it. He says, no, no trouble at all. I think it's BS. It's something as harmless as a little joke would cause a big, you know, thing. Uh, basically, he was told by WeebCon. I'm just going to relay everything to you without reading it all over again. He, he was told by WeebCon, false ideas as a news VTuber, uh, by his representative that helped him through WeebCon and everything. He was told to make sure if he can, if he can, it's his decision. WeebCon wants to see if they can remove the, the post, if he can remove the post that was put up there. Because the post was something that Nidhi Sanji didn't like, and Nidhi Sanji was threatening WeebCon with uh, preventing them from getting voice actors from Japan. Prevent, like, blacklisting them from voice actors and blacklisting them, making sure they never get any Japanese voice actors again. So they, they pulled their weight and they tried to do this to False ID. Uh, what the F is this? They're behaving like a, a cursed crossover. They really are. Uh, final edit, the post stole this post. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a repost of this thingy here. But here's what False ID did. He reposted the image. Um, and yeah, they they dropped by the con. He was uh, the weeb con dropped Niji Sanji because of this whole thing. And he reposted it again. And here is his actual post because the person is kind and actually shows the evidence, which I like. He posted it again as a 6.02 a.m. my time on today may 1st he posted it again back with a vengeance in accordance with the prophecy the post has returned somehow this post has returned oh my false versus nidhi sanji a jojo uh reference they're still using kyo standee ayo it's back my king this post is back people are happy that it's back and he says oh no nidhi sanji don't look although uki being afraid of nice elderly couple is sad this is infinitely more pathetic nidhi burned their goodwill with the entire western convention circuit over this and over many other things they've done they've really burned their goodwill to as tame as it could be of all the neat tweets you could get offended with they did that and here's a person going over everything again it says how could this how could he that nidhi's worst nightmare ever he lives in the mine rent free 325 near 365 days 24 7 and um yeah it's basically he said he was going to repost it yesterday on his stream so i'm not surprised but it still did bring a smile to my face uh do we say any ndf trying to validate this validate this s storm yeah it's just this is just dumb I don't know why they're, they're getting their, their panties in a bunch with this, but Niji has been known to be petty with a lot of things. And I'm just, I'm just here pointing all these things out. <clears throat> this person here wrote something more of an opinion piece, more of a drama piece, whatever you want to call it. They claim that uh, they were doing a Marshmallow like service called Mond uh, announced in April that Kuzo would be doing a deal stream. However, he did not do this during April. As a result, the corporate case turned into Laplace Darkness. Basically, they switched over to Laplace Darkness is what this person is claiming. Whisper and JP that this company have given up, but it is just a whisper, okay? I don't know if the black company has taken a high-handed attitude of Niji-sama, the leader of YouTuber industry, will promote this project, but I wonder if the neglect of the project was indeed frowned upon by the other company. Another example, KR Company is switching from Niji-sanji to Hololive. We'll see if that's true. I'm not quite sure what happened here. They may be researching demographics. But let's see right here. I got information on this. That's why uh, I want to make sure to always look at information. According to this person right here, they did a, a full translation of this. Uh, it says, Kuzuha Cup, support memorial, mon registration and repost campaign. 30 lucky winners will receive a Kuzuha Kapu sticker. So this looks like it was just a promotion. He didn't have to do anything. It was just promoting it through Kuzuha, which is a big Japanese streamer. He's huge in the Japanese space. And the application deadline is tw March 25th. Register with Mon, repost. Kuzuha was also scheduled to release a Mon in April. Mon supports the Kuzuha Cup. So this looks to be a Kuzuha Cup supporting thing. And here's a Laplace Darkness one. She was chosen as uh, a new question box called Mondo, appointed as the official ambassador. As a great leader, uh, she will continue to answer problems of the humanity. This Laplace Darkness. Yes, my dark. Yes, my dark. Of course. On May 3rd, I will be doing a live stream where I'll be answering questions received on Mond. So Mond is like a marshmallow type service where you pay for, um, for the ability to have your questions answered directly by the liver. A lot of times in Japan, they use Marshmallow. It's a service that does that. This person was sending misinformation and I wanted it to be cleared up. Looks like the actual promotional arrangement with a talent in actual scheduled stream. Uh, so it looks just like speculation and rumors. As for the headphones thing, companies like to change their sponsorship partners from time to time. It could be absolutely nothing. The Korean one, we don't know. As a way of reaching new audiences, so nothing interesting here either. So it's a nothing burger that this guy is mentioning. It's the Kuzuha Cup that they are promoting. And yes, Mond is still doing it with them. And Mond can decide to make a ton of different sponsorships at a ton of different times as any company can. Just want to make sure that this is crystal clear. 
because of course I do not want to push in misinformation and I do also want to be corrected anytime that information I put out there is incorrect. If I have to remove a section of a video, I will because I do not want misinformation to be pushed. Here's another take on more things. Uh, it's the same Mon thing. Uh, Nina Mikau, Kai is a premium editor in chief, vice president of Kaiyu Inc. Uh, there was a surprise JP community, much of JP VTuber media was derided as any color Apple polishing media, and they continue to ignore P2Y, the only one reporting on Nidhi Sandi scandal and foreign information. Uh, this has been met with surprise, and at the same time, it seems to be considered because they follow P2Y's account. Uh, fully given up on any color. Maybe they have. Maybe they're just following the trends right now. It is a media site, so they could be following trends. It's been reporting scandals of black company, Caillou, the influential because it distributes articles in Yahoo News, JP's largest uh, curation. Don't media in general follow other media? Seems like nothing burger. Might be too optimistic if I'm being honest. What if Nimi now did so to man some favor? So this could just be another agency following another agency. It could just be absolutely nothing. And these are the ones that we have here. This is the person... He is following uh, specifically, you know, he's following uh, P2Y.JP. Of course, a lot of agencies follow a lot of different agencies. So I think this is more of a nothing burger. But I did want to at least let you guys know if this happened. Going over a little bit more of merch related stuff of um, Yago and other things of how a CEO and other CEOs should treat their talents. Unlike how Tazumi treats his talents, or at least it seems to be the way he treats it. Uh, Yago Motoaki Tanigo. He's a guy, Korean stew from Suisse and Miko. And basically, he's buying his own stuff. He's he's uh, high on his own supply, I guess. <laughs> he's buying his own stuff, which is not a bad thing. He says, if he wants his livers merch, you could just effing ask. He wants his livers with some fa fa fava beans. He'd liver with some fava beans and nice chianti. Typed myself into that one. He would pair it with his livers, but he thought sinking yacht, or livers in this case, but it's sinking yacht wants him to make shivers because entire stock is covered shit uh, in many kitties' liver. Yeah, sorry, but I help with e ERB rap references. Not much he can buy, which is 90% of his livers' money. Not even enough for a small boat. They're talking about Tazmi right now. Also, yellow curry for Miko since she likes blondes. I guess, nice. Don't forget, he also needs to pay his taxes. He used curry merch to advertise himself, not to talents. But it's, wait, he actually used curry merch? Is this, okay, like, until proven otherwise, this is a meme. Until proven otherwise, this is a meme. This is someone that created a meme. I'm hoping. Please don't tell me it's actually true. Funny says, honestly, my most neutral opinion about the guy, he doesn't have Yago's charisma. So these ads of him showing up nowhere shows he's like, he like make it look like they're copying Hollow Live and failing at it. Is this real? I think so. Look here. For mid-year appreciation gifts, the artists get a curry with some of the livers facing them while the livers get Riku Tazumi's on theirs. So this is what he's, th this person's posting. You know, this is appreciation. You need a summer gift. And um, some, uh, like Shoichi got, got uh, Riku Tazumi. And uh, Kokoro also got Riku Tazumi. So it's true. He actually had this made. This is what the heck. Want to believe, but bamboozled by the internet for many times. I'm going to take it as a rat. I'm just going to take it as a rat. It just looks like it could be, but I'm just going to take it as a rat. I don't want to be like with egg on my face. I'm just going to take it as a rat. Why did we buy that slow effort stuff? I mean, he did pose with pictures on Twitter of what happens with Roth Mao merch while at the concert of Salome Sango on Spain Village. Though he could have asked for it with content put back, who knows? So yeah, that looks like it's a little bit true, maybe. And Yago as well said, you don't aim to please overseas people. That's why he's the GOAT. The most important thing for domestic VTubers is to expand overseas is not to aim. Tanigo said, even when auditioning for talent, he doesn't really care about overseas reception. People overseas want to watch it as it is. Their popularity has increased around the world. As for VTubers, their core fans from overseas want to be able to follow the same thing at the same time as Japanese people. I've been aware of this since the time there was little access to outside the country. Yes, there were Kagai Niki since the very beginning. And yes, they wanted to watch them as it is. Not kowtowing to the West. Not doing, you know, things specifically for the West. Not any of that kind of stuff. They are just being themselves. And that's why we like them. You know, Watame with their Waki Pie and all that kind of stuff. It's about the, the content not kowtowing to a certain you know demographic common sense literally basically he knew what people wanted instead of changing for them seems like we made a japanese hamburger for the west maybe a japanese developer we need to make more japanese food and that's what people wanting from a japanese developer hayashi realizing after train wreck and ninja guiding 3 was now only if game devs and localization teams can learn this concept yes because we have a lot of things that happen on the localization side on anime as well people are looking to consume jp media want to consume jp media not JP Media altered or censored to please a Western audience. Exactly. We want it as original as possible, not some other weird stuff. Here's the last thing that I wanted to kind of put in there for uh, the CEOs and how well they treat their people. Uh, this is how Face Connect scouted me. 
basically uh, cosplayers in the psychiat psychiatry department of the hospital. And it says, you sang a song and I was deeply touched. So they're, they're making, they're, they're, it's a joke. Of course, it's a joke because, um, you know, people are saying that Face Connect is the company with uh, the crazy ladies. It's the company with the, the, the crying ladies or whatever you want to call it with basically unhinged VTubers left and right. And uh, Sakana's kind of just poking fun at that. He's saying, you sang a song and I was deeply touched. I love it when they can do that, when they can joke around with each other like that. This is proof that allegation against Sakana scouting a psychiatric hospital. Sounds like an inside job. Dr. Studberg, uh, the twist is he was actually present, patient there. Oh, Sakana, you're supposed to scout new talents at the psychiatric department. You were supposed to get some help. He did. He found help to sell his coffee. Buy the coffee, 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 coffee. Yes, buy coffee. But he did that, get some help from doctors, and somehow his talents got a bonus. Faze is never beating the idol asylum coffee seller allegations, but embracing the meme works better than rejecting them. Absolutely. The meme works for them. Context is, you know, basically that they, you know, they all came from the psychiat psychiatry department. It's like Fishman, he's slowly gaining Yago status. So yes, good, um, good CEOs, like I mentioned, are always the best way you can go. They're not a dime a dozen, unfortunately. They're very rare. And, uh... Ones that don't kowtow to a certain audience, they just let their talents do whatever the heck they want, are even better. A JoJo meme, kind of in the middle of all of this. It's uh, basically $7, $8 for one meet and greet tickets, and you get the same freaking ear earbuds as everyone else. You have a thousand people touching your same earbuds, earwax, and all that nasty stuff in there. It says, my ear has no weakness, Jotaro, with all the earwax popping up in here, of course. Also, if you watch JoJo, Yellow Temperance is really similar to some trolls. They put the masquerade and absorb anything thrown at them and turn them into S. Keep going. One of the few truly invincible stands in the series, Yellow Yamprints on top. Do you understand? Do? Yeah, a little bit of, uh, of a me moment for you guys. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.